The Israeli military released a video on Friday, it claimed to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement that the forces located weapons, including sniper rifles, combat equipment and loaded launchers. Earlier this month Israel opened a new front in its war with Hezbollah, stepping up bombardment in Lebanon and launching a ground campaign against the Iran-backed militia after a year of trading cross-border fire. Officials said Wednesday that Israeli airstrikes pounded areas across Lebanon, killing at least 27 people in 24 hours, including over a dozen in a southern town where Israeli bombardments in previous conflicts are seared into local memory. Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him unknowingly in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was Israel's most wanted man. The Israeli military said on Wednesday it destroyed a tunnel network it claimed was used by Hezbollah militants in the area of Mhebeb, a town in southern Lebanon. The troops located and conducted targeted raids on a large network of underground infrastructure and tunnel shafts that included living quarters, and armories, and found a large quantity of weaponry, the army said in a statement. Early Wednesday, Israel struck Beirut's southern suburbs for the first time in nearly a week. Late Tuesday, Israeli strikes killed at least 15 people in the southern Lebanese town of Kana, which has long been associated with civilian deaths after Israeli strikes during previous conflicts with Hezbollah. Hezbollah has a strong presence in southern Beirut, known as the Dahia, which is also a residential and commercial area home to large numbers of civilians and people unaffiliated with the militant group. Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas top leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was the man Israel has hunted for more than a year. Sinwar has topped Israel's most wanted list since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war just over a year ago, and his killing strikes a powerful blow to the militant group. There was no immediate confirmation from Hamas of his death. The military confirmed Sinwar's death after conducting DNA tests on a body it said was among three militants killed Wednesday during operations in Gaza. Foreign Minister Israel Katz called Sinwar's killing a military and moral achievement for the Israeli army, saying it would create the possibility to immediately release the hostages. Defense Minister Yov Gallant addressed Hamas fighters, saying it is time to go out, release the hostages, raise your hands, surrender. Sinwar was one of the chief architects of Hamas' attack on Israel on October 7, 2023, and Israel has vowed to kill him since the beginning of its retaliatory campaign in Gaza. He has been Hamas' top leader inside the Gaza Strip for years. An Israeli security official said it appeared that the man who turned out to be Sinwar was killed in a battle, not in a planned targeted airstrike. Photos circulating online showed the body of a man resembling Sinwar with a gaping head wound, dressed in a military-style vest, half buried in the rubble of a destroyed building. The security official confirmed the photos were taken by Israeli security officials at the scene. 
The Israeli news site N12 said Sinwar appears to have been killed by chance in a battle on Wednesday. Sinwar was imprisoned by Israel from the late 1980s until 2011, and during that time he underwent treatment for brain cancer, leaving Israeli authorities with extensive medical records. President Joe Biden has been briefed on Israel's investigation into whether it killed Sinwar. Sinwar was chosen as Hamas's top leader in July after his predecessor, Ismail Haniyeh, was assassinated in an apparent Israeli strike in the Iranian capital Tehran. Israel has also claimed to have killed the head of Hamas military wing Mohammed Deif in an airstrike, but the group has said he survived.